okay, here's the problem. The cable comes out of the wall. Mm -hmm. I've got it going into the box, then the VCR, mm -hmm. then the TV. And they're both set on three. But I can't cable company because they'll like charge you. Yeah, so it's like illegal. A monthly. Um, illegal yeah, no, but it's VCR Summit will not be seen tonight, so that we may bring you the following episode of Almost Live. tell you right now the city is in a frenzy everybody here is just so excited and i know why i know it's just you're, you're, you know it's going to be our big week it's our big week is coming up the eyes of the world on seattle president clinton and the leaders of all the nations around the pacific rim are going to be in town and you know you guys got to be careful because security is going to be so tight they're, you know they realize they're going to shut down i-5 when the limos drive from the airport into town and just to be extra careful Paul Brendel has to keep the Cairo traffic helicopter grounded all week because they don't want any, which is going to be dangerous. Now, P President Clinton, actually, he's staying at the Weston Hotel, and the Secret Service is really happy about that because it's close to the Crocodile Cafe. And once they, once they put the Prez to bed, they're going to sneak out and rock. They know that. They're gonna... uh, interesting enough, the Sultan of Brunei, uh, there he is right there. He is the richest man in the world. He's going to be in town. And uh, he plans to stop by the house that Bill Gates is building probably say something like, so, Bill, cute little place you got here. <laughs> you know, kind of like my vacation house, yeah. Uh, the premier of Thailand, there he is, he's going to be in town. Uh, he's very excited because really, you realize this, there are actually more Thai restaurants in Seattle than in his own country, so <laughs> he's going to be eating good. The, uh, yeah. Light, which they think is unfair. It's unfair. The, uh, the Prime Minister from Canada, he's going to, I guess, drive down through Blaine. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of sad. Because of the exchange rate, he can only afford to stay at the Motel 6, which is sad. <laughs> it's the exchange rate. I know, I know. Let's pitch in. Let's help him out. Also, I just want to be on the lookout for the Prime Ministers from New Zealand and Australia. I just want to warn you. This. See, they don't have anything to sell except for beer and sheepskin seat covers. That's all they make down there. So this is just an excuse for those guys to get out of town and party. So if you see, if you see either of those guys and you don't understand what they're saying, just give them directions back to Kell's Pub. It's just point them that way. Just point them and give them a push. All right, now, everybody, I just want to warn you, be on your best behavior next week because everybody's going to be watching us. And right now, I want you to please pay attention because Almost Live would like to welcome a new and very important sponsor. At Roscoe's Oriental Rug Emporium, we're saying goodbye. We're closing our store forever, and you can save like never before. Roscoe's Oriental Rug Emporium is saying that deal this time. We're hitting the bricks, gonna mosey, gonna sashay, gonna clear out, bamboos, saying adios, ciao, vita zane, siren hour, au revoir, off to the way, go Godspeed until we meet again, which we won't, because Roscoe's Oriental Rug Emporium is closing forever. We're never coming back. It's over. We're done. We're shoving off, bowing out, flaking off, getting gone. It's at an end. We're cutting out, kaput, finish, drop the curtain, break tent, pull up snakes, funny. This won't ever be back. It ain't gonna happen. Forget about it. We're shutting it down. We've lost our lease. Can't find it. Don't care. Cause we're done. Closing shop. Putting up the shutters. Bolting the doors. Slamming them closed. Gonna floor the place up. Nailing it shut. Big nails. Nothing gets in or out. Stealing it off. We're history. We really, 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 really need it this time. We're not jerking your chain on this. This ain't no snow job. We're not bluffing. No kidding. So shag your big fat bottom down here. PDQ. Because I swear, if you dawdle or dink around, you'll be SOL. Because we're closing forever. 
any day now. Could be a matter of weeks, days, maybe tomorrow. But then, that's it. Roscoe's already in the rug emporium, going out of business since 1957. All right, stay with us. We got a great show, and we'll be right back. Promotional consideration for Almost Live provided by Ballard Computer in Seattle, Kirkland, and now open in Tacoma. Nobody pays any attention to me. How can I be more obnoxious? I want to be a squeaky wheel. What would it take to be a fighting bulldog? Her Rosak. Now, you can be just as irritating as Ross Perot. What are the rules here? I answer his question to yours. Do you guys isn't ever do anything but propaganda? Isn't it you, your business would also? Would you even know the truth if you saw it? No. Let's have an unnatural event and try not to interrupt him. So get up out of your rut and take on battle after battle with Perozak. Ask for it. No, demand... Hello. Good morning. Hello, Mother. What are you doing? Oh, just plucking hairs out of my chin. You don't have hairs on your chin? Yes, I do. No, you don't. An hour ago, you would have thought I was a man. Oh. What a beautiful day it is today. I wouldn't know. Mama still got the blinds down. You don't have the blinds down. Yes, I do. No, you don't. You know, it's like a cave in here. It is not. I think I prefer the darkness. In fact, I'm just going to get all the windows boarded up. Oh. Are you doing something fun with your friends tonight, dear? I don't have any friends, Mom. You have any. No, I don't. That one from Thanksgiving? Oh, yeah, the one who dumped me. He didn't dump you. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. You know, maybe I'm a lesbian. You are not a lesbian. Well, I'm attracted to Cindy Crawford. Everyone thinks that she's pretty. Well, maybe you're a lesbian, Mom. <laughs> well, I have to go, honey. I have lots of errands to run. It's good to stay busy. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, talk to you tomorrow, Mom. Bye-bye. Bye. Live from a location on Seattle's Capitol Hill, between a Thai restaurant and a store that sells leather underwear, we join Protest Central and facilitator Seth Miller Hedges. Uh, thank you very much. Good evening. Welcome, everyone. Uh, as you know, next week, the eyes of the world will be on Seattle. And for once, it's not going to be because of Nirvana or Pearl Jam. That's right. APEC, the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation, will bring President Clinton and 14 other world leaders and 3,000 members of the media to our city. And you know what that means? An opportunity for all sorts of different groups and organizations to protest in front of the world. Now, here to discuss this is a longtime colleague of mine. She led the famous Evergreen State College sit-in over not enough lettuce in the dinner salads. <laughs> and the, the candlelight vigil at Tower Records over the artwork on the cover of Warren's Cherry Pie CD. Please welcome <laughs> Katrina Brown. Katrina. First, I want to stress that you protesters need to be prepared for this. Now, the stores, they're running out of wool hats and oversized sweaters, so you've got to get out and get one of those. Now, you also, you might want to check out one of these new marchers mugs. They're guaranteed to keep your beverage warm for any march or speech, even a long-winded bombast by someone from Sane Freeze. So you've got to get one. No, no, now hear me out. A support group for chronic fatigue syndrome says they find this very offensive. Now I want you to be sensitive here. Okay, and also one more thing. Do not protest near 45th and the Ave in the University District because police need to keep that area clear in case they have to chase down a UW athlete through the streets. You got me here? Okay, great. Good luck, good luck. All right, thank you. Thank you very much, Katrina. Now, there have been a few additions and changes to the protest lineup I want to share with everyone. First of all, the winter penis is cut off, March. <laughs> and there, there has been an addition to the NAFTA protest, uh, the jobs for people who already have jobs but who want higher-paying jobs so they can buy a boat. 
Thanks, Seth. I'm here at the Weston Hotel, where President Clinton will be staying during the APEC conference. Now, there are more than eight exits from the hotel, but we believe the president will be using this one right here, because directly across the street is an area that the president says is of great importance to him. So any protesters are advised to sit up. Concerns about organizing your protests or what protests to join, so I'd like to take a couple questions from the audience. Yeah, sure, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I want to throw some blood on people, and I was wondering if you could tell me where the best place is to do that. Okay, I, uh, I'd suggest you join any of the animal rights uh, groups. You must, you must really hate people who wear fur, is that right? Uh, no, I just really like to throw stuff. <laughs> okay, uh, next, next please. Yeah, I uh, really admired the way Richard Gere spoke about Tibet and the Dalai Lama at the Oscars. I was wondering, will he be in Se Seattle next week? Uh, no, not that we know of, I'm sorry. Uh, is, is Cindy Crawford coming? <laughs> no. Damn. <laughs> okay, uh, one final note. If you're looking for some food while you're out protesting, remember, stay away from the animal rights groups. I mean, they, they won't let you eat anything, not even shrimp. Uh, instead, I would suggest you check out the Pro Timber Rally because they're giving out jerky sticks and shots of Jack Daniels. So if that'll be good, and I'll, we'll see you on the streets, everyone. <laughs> I've wanted to do this all my life, and all I'm asking is that you give me a chance. Tom Chase was a man with a dream, and he knew that if he worked hard enough, studied hard enough, and dreamed hard enough. All righty, here you go. Well, well, I have to watch. One day, he could call himself Tom Chase, urine drug test monitor. He knew it wouldn't be easy, that all along the way, there would be people telling him he couldn't do it. You can't do it, Tom. Don't be a fool. Why can't you be more like your brother? You can't do it, man. You'll make the whole family look like a bunch of idiots. Tom, I know the Lord spoke to me personally about my calling, but did you really hear him tell you that he wants you to stand around and watch people pee? But he still dreamed of the day when his life goal would be realized. Look, I know I can do this job. I know... Here, here, take this cup, fill it up. I'll watch you. Y you'll see. I can do it. I can do it. That's okay. You got the job. Really? And he knew that... No? Okay. <laughs> he was a man who knew what he wanted. City nickname from Emerald City to Bookburg. He said it would also fit in nicely with Tacoma's nickname, Bookum. The Department of Transportation says a major earthquake could ruin the Ship Canal Bridge. And a really... The Lake Washington School District is deciding whether to show a film to students called Considering Condoms. Despite complaints, school officials say it's much better than the other films they screened, ruminating on rubbers and grooving on love gloves. <laughs> Medina police impounded a car that they suspected of being a mobile drug lab. They say they became suspicious when they finally deciphered the license plate. <laughs> California sea lions guilty of eating steelhead salmon in the Ballard Locks may be captured and temporarily jailed in a program to protect the wild fish runs. When apprehended, the seals will be required to bark into a breathalyzer and balance a ball on their nose while walking a straight line. <laughs> The A1 Laundry on First Avenue has a sign that says, We Accept Sonic Tickets. Coincidentally, ticket gates at all Seahawks games will now post a sign that says, We Accept Laundry Receipts. <laughs> Finally, a Supreme... Finally, a Supreme Court ruling has made it easier to prove on-the-job sexual harassment. The basic rule of thumb is, if you see Bob Packwood in the vicinity, it's sexual harassment. <laughs> this has been a drama Thank you. We'll be right back. Hey. 
reeking, rotting, festering epitome of lameness. Librarians who wake you up and make you leave. It's incredibly, it's so lame. tragically lame. The sad reality that men who frequent strip clubs and peep shows are lonely, isolated individuals who deep down, perhaps at an almost unconscious level, desire a monogamous, intimate relationship with someone who will love and accept them for what they really are. No APEC events scheduled at Rock Candy. has been The Lame List.